Hi guys, welcome to another review. I believe this is review number five for this Christmas period. Um, today, very excited because um, I'm going to be reviewing some products from a, uh, from a, a guy, a, a, a friend that I made on Facebook, who to be fair is not a major company, he does this kind of in his spare time um, because he enjoys it, um, wants to make a little bit more on the side and help other people out. So um, we're going to look at some uh, pieces today from Cody's Creations. Uh, this is, um, a, I guess, a business company uh, set up by Dakota Howard in the US. Um, and I wanted to get a few bits and pieces off him um, and he actually ended up sending me this fantastic, uh, really good sized box, uh, this sort of size box uh, full of goodies and said, hey, you know, these are sort of some samples that I've got of everything I do um, so that, that you can kind of, you know, review them. And I said, great, I'll, I'll do that. Now, I have to apologize to Dakota. This was he sent these to me a long, long time ago, and I haven't got round to it um, reviewing them yet, and I haven't actually had a chance to use them yet. I've sort of got ideas of how I want to use them, but it's just about finding the time um, to do these projects. So they certainly will be going in my sort of pit, my useful bits box, uh, which I will hopefully use. And I've actually begun um, just in the last week to use a few of them. So we'll start with those. And we'll go through. He does these fantastic little uh, pieces, which are sort of trees, fallen trees, bushes. Um, he does some big ones. He does some smaller individual tree stumps. Um, he does some bigger tree stumps. Uh, this one here. And he does a couple of extras. And all I've done is st stuck them down to some bases. Uh, which I've picked up from um, Hobby Lobby. Um, so nothing special. And I'm probably going to paint them up, use them as scanner terrain, um, particularly um, in wooded areas where, you know, you'd expect there was heavy bombardment. And, and I'm particularly thinking, along with my US Airborne I had in the last video, um, of doing it for a battle of the bulge. Uh, so maybe doing a little scattering of snow, some fallen debris um, to try and demonstrate that where the airborne has sort of dug in, the bit heavy bombardment. So I'm going to use them for that. I think that'd be great. I will say they're made out of, I think, some sort of dental casting uh, material. Um, they are heavier uh, than perhaps uh, your, your plastic sort of scenery, your, your scenic trees and stuff. Um, it, it's definitely a solid um a solid product now i'm a little concerned uh if if they get dropped will there be chipping that's one of my concerns with with using the dental stuff but um i've been careful with them so far and there hasn't been any damage i'm gonna see how they take paint um i'm hoping to prime them and then kind of use some filler and maybe you well maybe use filler and blend it in or maybe just use some of my vallejo texture paint uh, and put like a lots of that to kind of smooth it out to the base so we'll see how they those go um, and I'll certainly put some pictures up on the Facebook page when I have got those done now there's some other bits and pieces that he produces um, so what we got treasure chests little wooden barrels uh, tomb tombstones like crosses and tombstones uh, a couple of doors there uh, that he's he's sent me as well that I could use on something. The problem is if I've only got two doors, it's like, what do you use them on? Because once you've used them, that's kind of the standard of your door and nothing's going to look good into, uh, uh, compared to that. So I'm sort of wondering how to use those. Um, he sent me his barrel set, his first barrel set. Uh, there's a couple of, sort of run over ones there, uh, empty sort of or lids that have come off. Uh, little jerry cans so uh, there's the first one he sent me another barrel set he's actually sent me some extras in this uh, i've got quite a lot of spare ones i'm thinking some north africa terrain like a command post or a fuel dump something like that um speaking of uh oil drums he also has done quite a big set um 
out of the dental uh, dental material, casting material. Um, I'm actually thinking of this. Um, definitely going to do some sort of fuel dump. I'm thinking like Raider and Rommel. Uh, I think they they attacked a fuel dump in that film. Um, I'm also thinking about the bulge where the the Germans dress up as American MPs and try to take out the fuel dumps. Um, that kind of reminds me of that. So I'm I'm thinking some sort of fairly good size oil dump, and that might be some sort of uh, I don't know some sort of objective for a game. I think that would be a lot of fun. So I'm going to use them. Um, he also did a little six six barrels together, which was cool. And this is my favourite bit: the hand solo in carbonite. So that might have to get painted up at some point just for a bit of fun. Um, some other features he does. Ooh, try not to knock all these over. Uh, he's got tank stowage. Uh, so some tarps and uh, rolls uh, and some boxes. So they're uh, something I'll start putting on tanks and stuff. Taking advantage of that. Um, and the second to last bit, we've got some... Like roadblocks for some more modern warfare, which I might use them for. Um, you imagine kind of driving down the streets of Iraq and you've got them sort of staggered, so you've got to drive through them. and um, So that would be pretty cool. And then final product that he's uh, sent me is these. You might have seen them before. I don't know if you can see it kind of flickering and glowing there. What he's got is a tea light in there uh, and then put sort of cotton wool over the top of it uh, and sprayed it. And it looks fantastic. Um, so I've got a couple of those. That'd be good for when I blow up the enemy tanks. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. Um, so re really, really some good stuff here. Um, and if, if dental casting material isn't your thing, he does plenty of other stuff in sort of like a resin, uh, cast resin. So um, definitely head over to his Facebook page. I will put a link to that. Uh, in the description below in this video because um, I'm not clever enough to put it on screen yet but anyway it'll be in the description below um, I don't know when I'm going to get around to using all this so I don't know when the pictures will be up but when I do use them I will put pictures up so keep checking out the Facebook page and why not I put so much up there when I, when I remember um, you know that that you'll, you'll catch a glimpse of something something so that's uh really this review today um go out go check out his facebook page even if you just go and have a look that's better than nothing i think um but give it a like if you if you know if you like what you see also don't forget to check out my facebook page tease foam and terrain and all that um check out the uh, podcast um facebook page uh the brit the yankee and the hobby podcast uh, check us out on itunes as well uh we're up to 12 episodes so far and we've got a christmas special and a new year's special coming out um in the next couple of weeks hopefully so that's exciting um and uh yeah th then the usual spiel if you like this video like it feel free to comment uh and if you like this video or any of the other videos please feel free to subscribe and we'll see you again in another episode very soon. Take care.